All right, guys. So short tutorial now on List Perfectly, which is a multi-channel cross-posting software that you can use in your own reselling business to save you a lot of time and post to more marketplaces. So you can post more items to more places and more potential buyers and obviously spend less time doing so, right? Now, there's three different plans. I'm on the middle one, which is $49.99 a month, but you can start out with the, the more basic plan, or if you're already scaled up, you can obviously scale up a little bit more. I don't see the need realistically for the top plan, um, at least so far with me, uh, but you might, okay? Now, it's uh, like I said, the one that I recommend typically is like $49.99 a month, and it's really going to depend on how many listings and products you obviously have, right? Whether it makes sense to you. If you, There should be like a threshold realistically. If you only have like 10 to 20 products and you're just kind of starting, then obviously this you know software doesn't make sense for you, and this is not the video for you. But if, it, if you're a beginner and you plan on scaling, then you should pay attention to this. Or if you already have a decent amount of listings, like there's really no one size fits all answer, maybe it's like 50 or 100 hundred plus or something like that, then this software is a no brainer and it makes perfect sense because then you can cross post it to multiple platforms, save yourself loads of time. And it's just so much easier to use when you're actually doing so, right? So it makes a lot of sense. Now I'm going to run you through two examples of how I use this software in my own business and how you can as well. Um, but first and foremost, this works for reselling, obviously, which is the majority of things that I teach but it also works very, very well for drop shipping, and it's exactly how I use it in my own drop shipping business, right? So one of the examples of software that I've shown in recent drop shipping tutorials is ZDrop, right? Which is this extension right here. And what it does is it posts these three little buttons on every listing on Amazon, as well as like 30 to 50 other sites roughly. And what you can basically do is you copy this to Facebook, and then it will pull it up to Facebook uh, Marketplace, as you can see here, I'm not going to paste it because it's going to slow down the computer as it's kind of pasting everything into Facebook Marketplace. But basically what it does is it moves that listing over into Facebook Marketplace for you. That's what the software does. You can also use it to move over to Etsy. But obviously it's only limited to two different uh, you know, marketplaces, right? Facebook and Etsy. So then what you can do after that as another step once you have it is you'll see these little things on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not going to pull it up right now. Um, but you'll see these on everywhere, right? Like once you have your Mercari store signed in, once you have your Facebook Marketplace sign store signed in, once you have your, your Poshmark, your eBay, et cetera, et cetera, you'll see this little um, list perfectly signed, and then you can take it from Facebook Marketplace and post it everywhere else, and you don't have to post it manually everywhere, right? So you use ZDrop with drop shipping, paste it to Facebook Marketplace or to Etsy, and then from Etsy and Facebook Marketplace, you list perfectly at everywhere else. Makes so much sense, it's so much easier to do, and it's really a game changer with drop shipping, but obviously with reselling as well, okay? So just wanted to touch on that. So here's List Perfectly. There's two main ways that you can do it. When you first log into it, and if you guys do want List Perfectly, obviously, I'll uh, affiliate link in the description. You can save 30% off the first month of it if you use code GARA. So I'll drop the affiliate link right next to code GARA to remind you if you want 30% off your first month, okay? The main way that I used to do it when I was ordering a lot of liquidation pallets is I'd come here to add products, right? And it's pop you, it would pop you up to this screen, okay? You can also create templates, but that's, you know, we're not going to get into that specifically right here. And the way that I mainly used it was I would literally throw all the images in, throw all the product title, right? This is basic common sense stuff. Put your description in, the brand, the color of the shade, the size or fit, all the key information here, and then save and exit it to products, right? And what that's going to do then is it's going to take it into your products. And then from your products area, again, you're going to see this little thing here where you can then post it everywhere, right? So there's two main ways to do it. You can either post it to list perfectly and house your items there. And then from list perfectly in your products, post it everywhere at the same time, which obviously saves you a lot of time. So you don't have to manually go in and list it on Poshmark, manually go in and list it on eBay, manually go in and list it on Mercari, right? Facebook Marketplace, all, what, like whatever it is, right? That's the first way and the main way that I used to use it when I did a lot of liquidation and it saved me so much time, right? Now, basically the way that I use it, and you can use it both ways, it works very, very well, is you'll see these little um, face, this little um, list perfectly symbol on all of your listings, regardless, as long as you're signed in a list perfectly, 
and sign in your store, obviously. And then from here, you can click this and post it to any of the sites. So it, sh it, it will cross post to any one of these sites. I obviously don't personally use Shopify, but if you do, then that's fine. I don't use Instagram. I don't use Kittison because I don't sell kids clothing. Um, I tried TradeZ. I've listed maybe 50 things there over time, and I've literally never made a sale, and it doesn't really seem worth it to me. Same thing with Grailed. I've listed probably less there, maybe like 30 or 40, made one sale. Again, doesn't really seem worth it to me. Maybe I need to put a little bit more time in there and see if you know both Grailed or TradeZ are worth it. If you have good experience with either one, let me know down in the comments. I'd honestly love to hear it, and then maybe I'll start listing there more. But I haven't really seen it to be too worth it for me. The main places that I list, obviously, are eBay, Etsy if it's handmade or vintage, which isn't really typical for me and what I source. Facebook Marketplace, obviously, a lot, uh, especially now. Depop is one of those kind of like Trade Z and Grailed, although I have sold a little bit more on Depop, so I'm, I am listing there as well. And obviously, I, I list on Mercari and Poshmark as well. So the main ones I list on are Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace with some Etsy if it's handmade and, and vintage and a little bit of Depop, and I don't really post anywhere else, okay? But this is a game changer because you can select whatever ones you want to post to and wherever you have a store, and it will literally cross post it to every other place. So for an example, Let's cross post this bikini right here to Mercari, okay? And you'll see that it literally pops up with the Mercari listing and it will start populating all the information from that Poshmark listing into Mercari, right? And it does this all for me. I don't have to do it myself. I don't have to copy the pictures manually, paste them in. I literally just sit here, wait about 20 to 30 seconds, and then I verify everything and put some of the other stuff in there. Now, because I'm doing this from Poshmark and it doesn't have any hashtags, obviously it's going to be different if you add some things in here uh, from the actual list perfectly, you know, like website. But when you're cross posting specifically from Poshmark, it's not going to have the hashtags, so you just need to add them in, okay? But description looks good. The only thing different with Mercari, and you have to know from site to site the different nuances of it. For example, like the Mercari title is a little bit shorter than the Poshmark title or the eBay title. So just make sure that you know it looks good, right? So like instead of being like that right there and ending it there, we want maybe crisscross high-waisted string bikini. And we'll just go that way, right? And make the title look fine. You also need to know like if you're cross posting it from Mercari specifically to Poshmark or vice versa in any capacity, you just need to know the different nuances of it because the Poshmark description is not nearly as long as you can post on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp or Mercari or eBay or you know any of those things. And sometimes you can add a certain amount of pictures on one and not the other. So you just need to know the different nuances. You will learn that very fast as you do it. Add your hashtags in and then select the, the, um, like the category and stuff and then simply post it. It has your price already set in there. So it's pretty much pulling all the data from one listing and taking it into the other specific marketplace. Um, and that way you could, you, it saves you a lot of time because you, the pictures are, in my experience, the thing that slows you down the most. And obviously any time period that you can save is gonna make a massive difference when you're, it's not gonna make a massive difference if you're listing like one or two things. But if you're listing like 10 to like 100 items a day, which is, you know, if you're drop shipping, that's going to be you. If you're selling and scaling this up to like liquidation or something like that, that's also going to be you. It's going to save massive amounts of time and is so worth it. Okay. So that's basically how you use it. I'm not going to dumb it down for you anymore because I think it's kind of common sense and I'm not going to insult your intelligence, but that's how you use it. That's the two main ways that you can use the List Perfectly software. It is a game changer. I highly recommend that you use it. It's only $49.99 a month for the business plan, which is the middle plan. I believe there's three plans. There's a cheaper option. And again, if you want List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month down in the description. There'll be a link. Use code GARA and you can get it off. Also, if you guys... um. You want to see a video of like in depth every single software because in a lot of these videos I throw like a software up there and then I kind of talk about it briefly. But there's so many different softwares out there that I use depending on you know if I'm sourcing books for Amazon, if I'm sourcing liquidation pallets for eBay, right? If I'm drop shipping onto Facebook Marketplace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If I'm sourcing wholesale, if I'm sourcing from retail websites, stuff you know. So there's so many different softwares that I use for uh, repricing, for inventory management, for sourcing, 
for moving listings across marketplace to marketplace. So if you want to see a detailed video of that, um, it's something that I've been thinking about creating, but it will be a longer, more in-depth video because there's so many softwares to break down. If you want to see that, A, give this video a thumbs up. I genuinely appreciate it. And also comment down below and let me know that you're interested in that. And then I'll go ahead and make that if enough people obviously do. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.